Here's how an average if function works. You look at a range of cells within a table. You try and pick out something in particular that you're looking for. And when it finds a match, it goes to a different corresponding column to average the values where there's a match. If you look at the gray box down here, here's the structure of the formula. You first of all provide a lookup range, then a criteria, and then an average range. Now you can read that in English as where to check, what to check, and what to average. So in the first example here, it's saying or asking, what is the average age of the plumbers? So what we're gonna do is to come to the table, look at the trade range, D3 to D21, pick out the plumbers, and where it finds a plumber, go across to the age and use that value as part of an average at the end of it. So the only figures it's actually gonna average are where the trade is plumber. So let's write this out and you'll see what I mean. We start with equals average if, open the brackets. Now for this first one, I'm gonna click the FX and run you through using the box here. It's good to get a breakdown and it's good to see the structure and the flow using the box here. For examples two and three, I'll just write it straight out. Now the range, first of all, is D3 to D21. The criteria, what are we looking for, is plumber. The average range, the thing we're trying to average at the end of the day, is F3 to F21, the age. Let's press enter here and you'll get the first answer of 42.4. That's the average age of the plumbers. Second question, what is the average amount the brick is spent on snacks? So again, we say equals average if, open the brackets. Now this time I'm writing this straight into the cell. So firstly, what is it we're checking? We're checking the trade, D3 to D21, comma. In quotes, I put the thing we're looking for, which is bricky, comma. And then the final thing is what I'm actually averaging at the end of it. How much do they spend on snacks? So that's H3 to H21, close the brackets and enter. So $17.33, that's the average amount. What is the average number of jobs assigned to the plumbers? So here, again, we say equals average if, open the brackets. The range again, we're checking for the trade, so D3 to D21, comma. The criteria, we're looking for plumber, singular. Even though the question sometimes is phrased plumbers, okay, you've got to make sure that your criteria matches what's in the table, comma. Now, the thing we're averaging is the number of jobs, I3 to I21. So you put that in, you close your brackets, and you press enter. So 38.0, average number of jobs assigned to the plumbers. So that's average if. It's a very useful function when you need it. If you've got some of your own data, and average if might be a useful function to try out, try it as soon as you can. Do it while it's fresh, get your hands dirty.